He's a New York Times best-selling author with numerous awards to boot, and although he's not from the Ocean State, the founder of the Rhode Island is the subject of his new book, Roger Williams and the Creation of the American Soul. Author John Barry joins us this morning to tell us more about the book. Good morning. Thanks for joining us today. Well, thanks for having me out. It's great to have you here. Let's show the book so everybody can uh, see what the book looks like. What made you so interested in Roger Williams? Well, the, the, the First Amendment in the Constitution didn't really come from the head of Zeus or from an abstruse theory. They came from as a specific response to specific historic events, and, and this is really the story of the events that led not just to the idea of freedom of religion, but the idea of freedom itself. Can you set the scene for us of, you know, the time that this, this all took place? Well, it, there was enormous uh, upheaval in England, uh, both over religion and over politics. Uh, in fact, there ended up being a revolution, they beheaded the king, uh, there was this huge confrontation of, over the rights and liberties of, of people. The, uh, Roger Williams' mentor is actually a judge who said the house of every Englishman is his castle. And that idea of individual liberty uh, ran right through Williams' veins and is, I think, a very important part of why he ended up believing in the separation of church and state. And he's not really widely known for, but he was actually even more revolutionary in a political sense, because he was really the first person to articulate modern political liberty. Now, while I was going through the book, I was looking at it, and you know, you describe Roger Williams, and they describe him as a very charming guy, but he was also very complicated, right? Oh, he, he, sorry, he was a brilliant, brilliant person, but even his enemies said he's the sweetest soul I ever knew, uh, and I think that was part of his success in London. He was a friend of John Milton, he was a friend of Oliver Cromwell. Uh, he went back and forth between Rhode Island and London and, and had enormous influence on people like John Locke and, and really what ended up our Constitution. And why do you think people in Rhode Island, I mean, you know, it's been a long time, why do you think they're still fascinated with Roger Williams? Well, I mean, the argument today is exactly the same argument that started almost 400 years ago. Uh, as I think the review in the Providence Journal on, on Sunday pointed out, if Williams came back today, he'd think he had never left. We had arguments over Christmas trees, the school prayer, are we a Christian nation? Uh, so not much has changed. Nothing has changed. <laughs> right. Thank you so much for coming in with us this morning. We appreciate you being here. Well, thank you. Okay, to find out where else you can catch John, his book tour, and everything else, you can head over to our website at WPRI.com.